Good morning everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to build dragon fruit palaces. As mentioned in our previous video on how to plant and grow dragon fruit, the dragon fruit plant is a type of cactus that grows upward and needs a support in order to grow properly. There are several ways you can build this support. There are different designs and different types of materials that you can use. But in this video, we will concentrate on the type that is made of a concrete post with a used motorbike tire on top. The advantage of using concrete instead of wood for the post is that concrete won't rot in the ground and won't require nasty chemical treatment against termites. Concrete is also stronger and more durable than wood. Strength and durability are very important for dragon fruit trellises, especially in the Philippines which is frequently visited by typhoons. Each plant can produce fruits for as long as 20 to 30 years, so its support should be strong and durable enough to last that long. There are two ways you can make a concrete post. You can either cast it in place or have it precast. Cast in place concrete is a concrete poured, molded, and cured right at the site. On the other hand, precast concrete is a concrete poured, molded, and cured in one location and then transported to the site. This picture shows details of a trellis made with a cast in place concrete post. As shown in the bill of materials, this would require about 3 cubic feet of concrete, one used motorbike tire, and one 10 mm or number 3 rebar with a total length of 9 meters or 30 feet. The post should be about 1.5 to 1.8 meters or 5 to 6 feet high from the ground. To construct this, you would need to dig a hole 2 feet deep from the ground. Pour the foundation with a 10 mm or number tree rebar doubled into it. Pour the post using half 6 inch diameter PVC pipes as molds. Tie the molds together with ropes or wires and provide temporary supports as necessary. Weld horizontal bars to the protruding bar at the top. Paint the rebars with a cold galvanizing paint and finally install a used motorcycle tire on top. The tire should have its last on its underside to facilitate installation and for drainage. Of course, you wouldn't want the tire to collect water which could become breeding grounds for mosquitoes. The tire is provided to protect the vine when it comes to the top of the trellis and hangs over. It would prevent the sharp edges of concrete and the rebar corrugations from cutting into the fleshy stems of the dragon fruit vine. Here is another picture that shows a precast concrete instead of cast in place concrete post. This can be installed directly into an overhead hole on the ground. This one would require the same materials but a little bit less amount of concrete which is just about 1.75 cubic feet. For large scale projects, this may be the better option of the two, mainly due to faster installation. To dig the holes, you may need one or more of the following. Digging bar and hand shovel, post hole digger, gas powered earth auger. I personally recommend using gas powered earth auger together with precast concrete posts for large scale dragon fruit plantation projects. That is because it can save you time and money. The gas powered earth auger shown in the picture costs around 186 to 200 $120 and comes with a 6 inch diameter by 31 inch long auger pit. It can easily be operated by one person. You can either buy one or rent one. Rental tools are available for example at the Home Depot Tool Rental Center. So basically there are three main steps. First, you have to dig a hole. Second, you have to construct or install the post. And the last one is to install the used tire. Now before we end the video, let us take a look at some of the pictures we have. The following features were captured in a dragon fruit farm in the Philippines. Dragon fruit trellises line up next to the fence. The hole shown here had been dug up manually. This picture was taken at the same location at a later time. The poles are already installed and dragon fruit plants have already been planted, yet the tires have not been installed. This one shows the same poles, some of which already have the tires installed. These are pictures of more dragon fruit trellises that run all along the fence of the property. While these trellises are located near the back of the lot away from the fence. Originally, there were only two rows of dragon fruit trellises here. But in this picture, you can see that another row of concrete posts had just been poured. The PVC pipes that were used as molds had not been taken out by the time this picture was taken. 
These are the same trousers after the pre pipe molds had been taken out from the newly constructed bars. Now there are a total of three rows of dragon free trousers in that area. They all support well grown dragon fruit plants. This concludes our presentation. If you like this video and this is your first time to visit this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated of our new videos. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Have, Have a good, good day. day. Bye.